up to Oath Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And friends, we have been working in the background trying to find out what is going on with this situation where President Trump uh, has been speaking about pulling his troops, uh, U.S. forces, out of Syria. Uh, the Washington Post is reporting that Republicans assail Trump's decision to pull troops from northern Syria as Turkey readies offensive. That's exactly what we're hearing. And not only we're we hearing this, but I-24 International Middle East uh, News is saying the U.S. denies report Turkish jet strike Kurdish targets in northern Syria. This came out on October the 7th at 3.40 p.m. Uh, and yet U.S. forces have not even left the area as of yet. Well, we've been working with our sources in the background and uh, to find out what's actually going on. And of course, there is news already breaking uh, that confirms uh, the information we're getting from our own sources out of the Middle East there. Saudi Arabia, Iran take steps towards indirect talks. Let me kind of give you some of the information that was shared with us uh, earlier this evening uh, before we came on the air. It says, Mohammed bin Salman has come to the conclusion that he cannot rely on the U.S. for protection. He has done everything America has asked him to do, which he understood. It is at the price he needs to pay for him to be protected from his internal as well as regional foes and be supported in its regional rivalries with Iran and Turkey. This understanding intensified as the price went up with Trump in the office and it was instrumental in regard to how he conducted himself. In other words, i.e. Khashoggi, the case there, Yemen, uh, etc. Having to the conclusion, he decided to reverse the course and start to make steps towards normalizing his relationships to Iran and Syria. Meeting at lower levels have taken place in Baghdad. Iran and Saudi oil ministers have met last week privately during OPEC meeting. The Saudi oil minister is King Solomon's other son. And now America has responded by trying to make him understand that he cannot make changes as he pleases. First the green light to Turkey and pulling out of Syria. And now all of a sudden the talk of 9-11 and Saudis. Americans are telling him, be ready to go bankrupt over 9-11 if you want to choose this path. Kind of sounds interesting, doesn't it? This is exactly what is being alleged against the president when it comes to Ukraine. Now, whether or not this is the case or not still remains to be seen. That's still an alleged event. But this is the intelligence that we're getting there uh, is when it comes to the Middle East there. In other words, Americans are telling him, be ready to go bankrupt over 9-11 if you want to choose this path. In other words, if the Saudis want to make deals with Iran, that would be the path they would get. Now, that's really not even President Trump speaking there. That is uh, his puppet masters, the elite of the Israeli elite that are controlling this new world order and of course all the global banking systems in the first place. Anyway, it says, however, he is not alone in, the, in this UAE, the United Arab Emirates, is also trying to support the Ben Salman and his about face, the other governments of the region, including Oman, Kuwait, Iraq, Qatar, everybody except Israel and Bahrain are hoping uh, uh, for calm in the Persian Gulf. As far as Turkish attacks goes, this is what our source had to say about that. It says here that the Kurds have opened up their line and let the Syrian army station some air defense system and some soldiers in the area. They've also allowed the government to participate in controlling and observing the ISIS POWs that can use the confusion following air attacks to escape. Turkey will probably try to make their escape facilitated. The Syrian uh, air defense is concerned with potential Israeli air assaults for the purpose of getting the ISIS fighters uh, to set them free, to let them loose. Of course, Israelis will make the attack look like a Turkish one. A lot is going on right now. And yes, it is. A lot is going on in the Middle East. And it's kind of an about face altogether to see the Saudis not willing to go to war with Iran. Well, you know, the scripture does say when we look at, uh, 
when we look at the prophecy over there in Daniel, when it talks about the violent among your people will try to establish the vision, but they will stumble. Does that mean they fall? Or do they just stumble? Are we looking at a stumbling process of this new world order? Or will the oligarchs in Israel take it a step higher to force the hands of the Saudis and the United States? Well, it seems that President Trump is following in key with the demands of his own puppet masters. Let's see if whether or not they get the Saudis on board and they get a war going with Saudi Arabia. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. That's the latest on our intelligence report tonight.